Guillermo Marconi was an Italian inventor and the father of long-distance radio transmission and winner of the 1909 Nobel Prize for Physics. Marconi was born in Bologna, Italy in 1874 and was interested from a young age in the physical and electrical sciences. He studied the works of other notable scientists and began experimenting with basic radio transmitters whilst on his father's estate. In 1895, he succeeded in sending wireless radio signals almost one and a half miles. In 1896, he took his invention to England, where he was introduced to the chief electrical engineer of the post office and was granted the world's first patent for wireless telegraphy. He demonstrated his new telegraph across England and France and later across the United States. In 1901, he set out to prove that wireless radio waves were not affected by the curvature of the Earth, which was believed at the time, and he successfully transmitted from Cornwall in southwest England to Newfoundland, a distance of 2,100 miles. He built transmitting stations in the United States, and in 1903 he sent a message from President Theodore Roosevelt to King Edward VII of the United Kingdom, which was the first transatlantic message sent from the United States of America. Marconi's employees were used at other companies as well as his own, and the radio operators on board the Titanic were Marconi employees. After the inquiry into the sinking of the Titanic, Marconi and his invention were praised by Britain's postmaster general for the lives that were saved on board and the ability to send a distress signal. He continued to improve his apparatus, and in 1914 he was commissioned to the Italian army in charge of the radio service and appointed a senator in the Italian Senate. He was also made honorary Grand Knight of the Royal Victorian Order in the United Kingdom. He died in Rome aged 63.